question number 20 the dynamic resistance of the diode varies as options 1 by i square 1 by i i i square this question is di simple question it's a formula based question okay so let us see the dynamic resistance or ac resistance of the diode is denoted with the letter r a c r a c dynamic small r the value of this is given by neta vt by idc neta vt by idc the formula so neta indicates the constant which is one for sorry neta indicates the constant it values can be one or two based on silicon or germanium and vt indicates kt by q k is the boltzmann constant t is the temperature in kelvin q is the charge of the electron if you simplify boltzmann if you substitute boltzmann constant and charge of the electron on simplification you will be getting t by 11600 please try to remember vt formula vt is nothing but t by 11600 t is the temperature in kelvin as you can see r and i are inversely proportional so the right choice is option b this question is very simple now let us see the extension so let us see the diode resistance and diode capacitance diode resistance diode resistance are of two types one is static resistance other is dynamic resistance static resistance is also known as dc resistance of the diode so it is denoted with capital r dc dynamic resistance or ac resistance of the diode is denoted with the letter small r and it is denoted with small r ac suffix so static resistance of the diode is de defined as voltage across the diode so if you take this diode what is the voltage at that instant divided by current flowing through that diode it's nothing but instantaneous voltage at that time of the diode with re with respect to the current flowing through a diode at that instant so this is very simple that is the static or dc resistance of the diode dynamic or ac resistance of the diode is defined as change in voltage across the diode from t1 time to t2 time so if you take some vi characteristics of the diode so from this this instant to this instant what is the slope or what is the change in see this is iv iv characteristics okay this is nothing but change in voltage from this instant to this instant then this is nothing but change in current so change in voltage across the diode from one instant to other instant any instant you can take you can take the instance from this point to this point even whatever so change in voltage across the diode through change in current through a diode is defined as dynamic resistance of the diode and the formula for it is neta vt by id i already discussed what is neta and what is vt vt is nothing but t by 11600 in kelvin now let us see diode capacitance see a diode can act as a capacitor in the sense this is a p type material n type material semiconductor and will sandwich both of them a junction is formed each junction will act as a insulator so this is like as an insulator si o2 layer similar to si o2 layer this junction will act as an insulator this is a conducting material this is a conducting material so this will act like a metals metals how they will conduct these are like conducting materials and between them there is an insulator for this purpose a diode can act as a uh, act similar to that of capacitor not exactly it is a similar so the capacitance formula is given by a epsilon by d a is the area area of this uh, plates and d is the distance between the plates here d is nothing but width of the depletion region a is nothing but area of the depletion region similar to the capacitor uh, capacitance formula now diode capacitance are again of two types one is diffusion capacitance other is transition capacitance diffusion capacitance diffusion capacitance is the capacitance that occurs when you connect a diode in forward bias so as you increase the forward bias voltage what happens the diffusion i mean the depletion width goes on decreases because more current flows the resistance decreases as the forward voltage increases the resistance decreases due to which the current in the circuit increases why this happens because the depletion width decreases 
because they'll report the charges you already know by in forward bias the when you connect p, p type 2 positive and type 2 negative as soon as you connect they'll rip they'll try to ripple each other so the depletion goes depletion width goes inside and it will decrease so as d decreases c will increase because c and d are inversely proportional c and d are inversely proportional as forward voltage increases d will decrease c will increase next next comes is transition capacitance this transition capacitance occurs in reverse bias as reverse voltage increases the opposite polarity uh, charges try to attract which means d value increases d value increases d and c are inversely proportional c value decreases how to remember diffusion transition capacitor and where it operates is there is a simple technique so def the series of alphabets def d indicates diffusion f indicates forward bias so diffusion capacitance is always operated in forward bias so as forward voltage increases one second i'm repeating d value the depletion with d decreases thereby capacitance increases diffusion capacitance increases transition capacitance it follows again a once again the alphabet series rst means reverse bias transition capacitance so transition capacitance must be operated in reverse bias so whenever uh, it is operated in reverse bias as the reverse voltage increases then what happens depletion width goes on increasing because opposite charges will attract so as d increases transition capacitance will decrease so try to memorize diffusion capacitance transition capacitance property and uh, uh, what happens if voltage changes and also remember static and dynamic resistance from these two concepts one question can be expected thank you